Welcome to the Dev Tips Holiday Special. I'm a reindeer. I just wanted to make this really quick holiday video for you guys to say thank you for an incredible year. And I hope that Coding Santa brings you what you want this year. Now I'll be away until the end of the year, but I still have one exciting video to share for you and that will be out on Monday. But what I wanted to do today was open up some mail actually. I got uh, this post in the post today and it's a, it's a present, a holiday present from our friends at Zurb. Zurb are the creators of the foundation um, framework and they sent me a little little holiday gift so let's open that up okay looks like we got some stickers and a, a yeti oh okay cool got a card here hey travis happy holidays super glad to have you in the community rafi and the zerb team rafi is the guy who uh, sets up all the um, all the videos that we do over there and everything like that. He he, uh, he drew a really cute, what's it called? Panda with guns. Rafi is awesome. Okay, so um, looks like we got a, uh, a punch out Yeti, which is like the, the mascot of their framework. Let's just fast forward this, but let's build it. Let's build it right now. All right, so there's the little cute foundation Yeti. He's got little arms and ears, or little horns, I guess. It's cute, huh? That's from Zerb. And we've also got some a sticker sheet, it looks like, here. A sticker sheet of, like, accessories, some new eyeballs, maybe a, what is this, like a Zerb slushy or a bow tie. That's cool. What should we put on him? Kinda don't want to ruin him, he's so cute. Maybe a mustache. All right, let's put a mustache on him. How about a big bushy one? There you go, okay. Thanks Rafi for my cool Yeti. I'm gonna keep that on my desk at work, that's awesome. And next, for our next section of the video, we're gonna be looking at some questions. Ugh, now my glasses smell like marker. For the next part of the video, I'm gonna put on a jacket. For the next part of the video, we're gonna have questions, and these questions are not exactly uh, new. I've had them in my queue for a little while, uh, so thanks for submitting them. But if you guys have new questions, um, my queue's running a little bit short, so be sure to email those to me or leave them in the comments on the video like this below. And if they're good questions, or if they inspire me to think of something insightful, then of course, I'll share them here on these vlogs like I usually do. <clears throat> the first question comes from Thomas Brown. How old were you once you managed to design and code full time? I was about, I think 24-ish or something like that. But for me, it wasn't like you're not a coder and designer and then you're a coder and designer. Because I didn't go the school route, it wasn't like a switch where you turn off or on, like you graduate and now you're a professional. Uh, you get your first job. I started doing freelancing um, as soon as I could and when I was very young and, and for a long time too, and not, not being full-time, that's why I don't count those years as a full-time professional but I, I don't think that um, they, are, they should be discounted in terms of education because they were very informative. Um, so, I mean, if you're trying to ask this question to get an idea of where you stack up, I think that's probably the wrong question to ask. It, it doesn't matter how old you are. Um, this industry is, is democratized, meaning that it's open for anyone to make anything that they want and to work with anybody they want. 
There's no restriction on age. There's no restriction on education. If you have the skill and if you have the desire and motivation, then you can do it. And that's a really wonderful thing about this, this industry. That's the only thing that allows me to be who I am and do what I do is because it's democratized, because there's no restrictions or like legalities. Like I don't need to have a diploma from anywhere to do the work. Um, it just it just comes down to who you are and what you can do. Um, but yeah, in general, uh, about 24-ish. So I, I usually say to people that I've been doing this for about 10 years, and that's give or take true. <laughs> okay, so the next question is from Ricardo Zaffalon. Hey, Travis, my question is this. How do you overcome the urge and feel to always learn a little bit more before applying to a real project? Thanks. Hey, Ricardo, I think the way that you overcome that is by building the habit of of applying what you learn as you learn it. And this is going to have two benefits. Number one, you're going to be able to use the things you're learning right away, and that's going to be a lot more fun for you. But number two, the things that you are applying right away are the things that you will retain. If you watch the video that was released on Monday about CSS filters, you might spend 10 minutes enjoying yourself and maybe learning about something new, but you're not going to really, it's not going to really change the way you work. And maybe CSS filters is a bad example because it's such a fringe technology in CSS right now. But generally, you know, if you're learning something, you should be applying it right away, whether it's in a, a paid gig or whether it's just in a personal project or whether it's just in a sample project so that you can learn the one thing. But you should be typing along with every video or every tutorial or every blog post tutorial or whatever that you're, that you're consuming. That way you can retain what you're learning. That's what you really want. You don't want to just consume everything. You want to grow as a, as a, in your ability to be a contributor, to be a creator. And, uh, and the way that you do that is to apply what you're learning right away. Cool. And then the last question comes from Matthew Hargreaves. Matthew says, have you ever suffered imposter syndrome or have been asked to do something that you can do but got scared even about doing it? I feel like we've asked these questions before. Matthew, uh, yeah, dude. Like, that's my life. So if, if you're not aware, guys, I write a note every Thursday to, to everybody um, who subscribes to it, right? It's at travisnielsen.com slash notes. You can go there and sign up right now, and you will receive the note that comes out in a day or two. And the purpose of these notes is just to interact on a personal level and share with you guys what I'm thinking on like a day-to-day -day basis or... Uh, you know, like something that's kind of been striking me lately, something that doesn't fit into a video or a, or a, or a podcast, or, or maybe it's just like the seeds of those kind of outlet outlets. Anyway, there's a note recently where I answered a question from Justine, and it's called Justine's Question. And Justine is asking similar things. And I wrote that I'm constantly doubting my abilities. This is like a thing that I live with. Like right now, at, at Google, I'm like freaking out because I'm surrounded by really exceptional designers. Everybody is just so much better than me. But I think that's okay. I think it's okay to feel that way because I expect accelerated growth this year. That's what happens when you become face to face with the reality that you are not as good as you assumed you were. You get better faster. That's the truth. So uh, imposter syndrome is a, is a good friend of mine. We've been friends for years, but I use it as as a way to tell me that I'm doing the right thing, as a way to tell me that I'm going down the right path. Because if you ever get too comfortable, then you stop, you stop really progressing, you know? Anyway, I uh, hope that was helpful for you, Matthew. Again, that's the last question of the day. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and we'll try to hit them up on the next vlog. And, uh, and have a good end of the year. There's one more video before the year ends. And then when we come back in 2016, I hope to have another annual report for you for that first week. And then we'll get more, uh, then we'll get back into some coding things. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye. Keep on hacking.